Hi, I'm Katrina DeMonteverdi with ID8 TV, and I have Jeff Aniston here from Legion M. He is a co-founder and president of this company. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I'm excited too. All right, so I know that this is the first world fan-owned company. Yes. How did you go about creating something like this? Uh, it's a great question. It's it's funny. It's an idea that when you explain it to people, right? The idea of a entertainment company owned by fans. Most people are like, "Wow, like why didn't somebody do that 50 years ago?" And the reason is is it wasn't possible. The the securities laws that enabled it only passed a couple of years ago. And we were literally the first company in history to take advantage of them in the United States. On May 16th, the day the law went into effect, we launched the company. So I don't think that we can take credit for being the first ones to think of a fan-owned company, but we had the good sense to be there when it was possible. <laughs> exactly, definitely. What, what made you want to create something like this? I know you are obviously a fan, uh, of course, and you wanted to create something for the fans because you are one yourself. But what made you like think of it and kind of make it be reality? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, yeah. the, the, the thing, it's all about like individually, each one of us is just a consumer. But when we band together, like our wallets and eyeballs are responsible for all of this and the entire multi-trillion dollar global industry. And so for us, it's really just, it's such a great idea. It's such a opportunity to engage fans in the process of the development of the films and TV shows, allow them to come behind the scenes. It's it's one of those things where it's, it's the most rewarding job that I've ever had because we believe so strongly in what we're doing. And both from the sense of it's a great thing for the fans to get them in and get them involved, but it's also an amazing business model. Because what's wonderful about it, if you've got a company that's owned by fans, uh, we believe we could become one of the most influential companies in Hollywood and so it's it's a it's an exciting company in all counts that's wonderful how long did it take you to create Legion M it's a great question you know we uh, we launched it about two and a half years ago and so this is Paul's and my third startup company the first one that we did we were the first ones to put live television on cell phones back in 2003 really? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, this was back in the day when a camera on a phone was like a novelty. Um, and, you know, we launched this, this streaming service and people told us that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. They said, no one is ever going to watch television on their cell phone. And so, um, you know. And everybody does it. Yeah. Every second of our lives now. I know. And, and, and that's why we're doing Legion M now is to make amends. Because now I have children and I can't get them off of their cell phones. And, so uh, anyway, you know, a startup company is, it's one of those things, like everybody thinks it's like from A to B, but it's usually, you know, like this and then over like this and, and then it takes off like a rocket if it's successful. And, and with Legion M, it's been wonderful because from the get-go, it's, it's really been on an amazing trajectory. I mean, we're over 10,000 investors so far. We've got close to 50,000 people in our community. And it's just, it, it's wonderful to be a part of something like this that's growing so rapidly. And again, it's not because like, you know, of the stuff that I'm doing or the stuff that Paul's doing, it's because as a community, we are an unstoppable force and wow. it's, it's intoxicating. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, that's great. Well, what other companies or projects do you have in store if you're allowed to talk about it? Yes. Well, it's a great question. I mean, we we made a big announcement today about Evermore, which is one of our projects. That's a science fiction, uh, steampunk, family uh, TV series. And we announced that Andrew Cosby is joining as the showrunner. He's the guy that created Eureka. Uh, he wrote the new Hellboy movie that's coming out. And he's the showrunner of that show. So that's incredible for that show. We've got Girl With No Name, uh, which is right here, which is a, uh, a Western, um, a female-driven Western. Think of like True Grit meets uh, 300, right? Or Sin City, or it's like a highly stylized sort of movie. Uh, with a Katniss Everdeen as the protagonist. Uh, so it's a really cool project that we really believe in. We're launching a comic book uh, in order to kind of build buzz for the movie and introduce the characters. And also for the director uh, to start to flush out the look and feel of the movie. Like you can do a lot of stuff in comic books. We can get feedback from all the members of the Legion. And so it's a really nice kind of medium for us to be able to flush out ideas and flush out the style of it. 
So those are the things that have been announced. And then one of the things that we do at Legion M is we have a monthly poll called Impulse. And it goes out to all of our members and investors. And sprinkled in it, you know, so it asks questions like, hey, what do you think about Girl With No Name? What do you think about this? What did you think about Mandy, our movie that just came out? So we're getting feedback from people. But then there's a section of it where we play like six or 10 trailers and we ask you like, what do you think of this movie? What do you think of, of that one? How well do you think it's gonna do commercially, right? So part of it is like, what do you think of it personally? The other part is that what do you think, how do you think it'll do commercially? Um, and then there's a whole section with log lines where we list like, okay, 20 log lines for films. And so what's cool about it is that sprinkled in amongst those log lines and trailers are projects that we are actually making decisions on as an executive team. And for us, the ability to get feedback from the community, A, it helps them set the direction and the tone for the company, but B, it, allow, it gives us data. We can benefit from the wisdom of the crowd. So it's not my gut saying, oh, I think this is a winner. It's like, no, we've got data. Like, people really like this. Like, this is going to be a hit. And so, um, so yeah, if you want to know what the next project is that we haven't announced, go in and take this, you know, join Legion M. It's free. You can take this impulse survey. And there's, you know, we're not going to do all of them. And it's possible that none of them end up working out. But you will see in there projects that we are making decisions on every day. And so it's it's a great, you know, that, that's yeah. where it is. That's amazing. I love that Legion M is so, I mean, it's very interactive, obviously, because it's also fan-based. Um, and the fact that they get to put their input in and you also, you know, take that in into account with your projects that are, are coming to. So that's amazing. Well, that's yeah. what it's all about. I mean, the, the, the community is our superpower and you know that's the, we are the first company in history that has been built from day one to be owned by fans wow. and it's these new laws that enabled it right and so like if you take sorry um, like Disney for example or Sony you can go buy shares of Sony or Disney and um, there's plenty of fans that do but you wouldn't say that those are fan owned companies right those are owned by Wall Street you know yeah. Every other entertainment company in the world is owned either by wealthy individuals or Wall Street investors. And this is the first time that it's ever been possible to build something from the ground up to be owned by us. It's kind of like everybody at Comic-Con yeah. pooled their money and said, let's go make an entertainment company. Amazing. I, I love your energy and positivity. <laughs> it's, it's just so infectious. Oh, thank you yeah. very much. I, thank thank you. you so much for your time. Thank you thank for you. having me on the show. Yeah, this is great. of course. Thank you.